Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with another early access look at the brand new Mississippi Acres Preserve. Uh, once again, thank you to Expansive Worlds for giving me a chance to show this map off to you guys early. Today we're going to do something that has been requested a lot by pretty much everybody that I can think of. Uh, we're going to be hunting the whitetail deer and the turkeys in the fields. That has been such a highly requested thing, and we've already got some whitetail up here along with uh, some turkeys to the left of them. I was taking a look at them and then realized I had forgot my collars, so I had to go back and grab them, but this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be bow hunting them out in the fields, and I just can't wait. This is going to be such a fun video to make, and I'm really hoping that we can bag ourselves some good turkeys. I really want to get a diamond eastern turkey. They look so much better than the other turkeys, so I'm very eager to get my hands on one of them. But my plan today is to kind of find some zones, take a few out with the bow, and then get some blinds set up afterwards so that we'll have blinds ready for the next time that we hunt. Alright, so we are just a out to where I want to be and of course the turkey decides to uh, call at us right as I'm about to say that uh, that was uh, amazing timing honestly but we're about where I want to be uh, hiding place wise and then we will start calling these turkeys in try to get at least one of them down with the bow then uh, switch arrows to the, uh, the ones that we can use on the whitetail and then try to get one of them you know surprisingly this area doesn't hide us that's not good so we're going to have to stay prone then. That's a little bit unfortunate, but we're just going to have to make it work. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. I don't know if this was a thing before. I don't think it was, but the arrow color is actually different based off of what arrow I have loaded into the bow. I did not notice that before if that was a thing. I hope that this is actually uh, going to be the case for all arrows because that'll make it easy to determine what arrow you have loaded into your bow. Oh, there we go. That is a turkey right there. Let's just... We got it. And we got a second one down too. Oh my gosh, we got two turkeys. That worked out beautifully. And the white tail have not spooked off. This is going to be our chance to swap our ammo type out to the 420 grain broadhead arrows. Let's see if these look any different. Okay, they do. They're green. Okay, that's so cool. That is a fantastic change. I'm pretty sure it was not like that before. Uh, for those of you that bow hunt a little bit more, let me know down in the comments if it's always been like that or if this is new. I think it's new. And uh, if it is, that's a great change. But let's try to get these whitetail to come in. There is a couple decent bucks in this uh, herd. They're not huge, but they're not bad either. Yes, yeah, somehow none of these bushes or trees are actually providing cover. I don't know why. They they definitely should, but it's uh, not giving me the cover bonus. So we're just going to have to deal with it. And honestly, we might be able to take that buck at 60. I think we definitely could take that buck. There's actually one closer. Okay, actually, I think we might be hidden, but it's just not registering. Because uh, they definitely don't know that we're here. And in fact, that right there should be a solid hit. We're not going to shoot anymore, though, because I don't want to delete this zone. And we just got hit by that doe. Wow, this is actually working out really well. I am very happy with how that went. Honestly, this might be one of the more fun ways to hunt on this map. I kind of had a feeling that it would be pretty fun, but I wasn't sure exactly like how many of the animals would actually feed out in the fields, but it looks like if you go out early enough, there is a lot in the fields. Uh, we're currently at 5.51. We start at around 5.30. This is pretty sweet. Honestly, I'm looking forward to doing more of this. And there is our last uh, Eastern Wild Turkey. Light bronze plumage type got a single lung on that one. Not too bad. A great start to the video. Alright, so this right here is a pretty cool place to put a ground blind. I definitely like the way this kind of like uh, meshes with the rest of the environment around it. Let's uh, take a look at what we will be seeing from this blind. Oh yeah, that's definitely nice. That's definitely nice. It'll give us enough visibility. We won't necessarily see the animals past uh, this, but I mean... It is what it is. I kind of like this. And that's a big buck right there. 
Uh, yeah, we'll have to get him at some point. That's a good whitetail. In fact, you know what? Let's just, uh... Not gonna let him get away, so we might as well just take him with a 30 out 6. Because that is a good deer right there. And I actually just remembered the bows don't give much hunting pressure, so we could have shot more probably, but... I, uh, completely forgot about it. And that is a 235 whitetail. That's a good deer. Not bad. Really solid gold whitetail buck. Ooh, there we go. There is a bunch of eastern wild turkeys. They've got a zone up here that I have hunted before, so I decided this would be a good place to go to. And sure enough, we got some turkeys. We'll probably end up getting a blind set up somewhere around here. That way we can call them in from the blind. But, uh, since this is kind of like a setup video for that, let's just, uh, kind of chill here. And we will see if we can get them to come in close and then take them out with the bow. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to get this thing down before it gets too much closer. There we go, we got the turkey. Well, let's see if there's any other turkeys. Yeah, we definitely have more. Uh, they're coming in a little bit slower than this one did, though. Okay, so we got this one at around 40 meters away. Uh, this is definitely a makeable shot, and there's another one really close as well. Uh, it's probably best if we take down one of them before they get too close, that way the other one doesn't spook. So if we can just get a clear sight picture of one of them, we will definitely take it. Ooh, there we go. That is a really good looking gobbler right there. 9 to 11 kgs. That has a chance of being a diamond. All level 2s with that weight estimate have a small chance of making it. So hopefully that one will. But that is a light brown eastern wild turkey female. Uh, looks like we got pretty good placement there. Maybe a little bit far forward, but it did the trick. Now, we got ourselves a really nice turkey that we need to go after next. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool that we just got a response out of those turkeys. However, I don't know if they're going to come to the call. I don't think they will. So we're going to have to stock up on them, which isn't as easy. But uh, it's the way it's got to be, unfortunately. All right, so it's hiding us right here. But this is like the only spot here where we're hidden. So we got to be careful not to move too far away from this spot. The turkeys are right there, though. The tom was just a little bit to the left of these hens, but I don't see him now that we're close. I'm gonna guess he's right behind this tree where we can't uh, see. Uh, that would be my luck, so we're gonna move a little bit more and see if we can spot him. Oh, there he is. There's the tom. Let's get him down. 44 away. This should be an easy makeable shot. Oh my gosh, we got it. Well, that was quite the shot on this Tom right here. And oh my gosh, there's a bear right there. And it's now fleeing away. So unfortunately, we're not going to get a shot on that bear. But we did get the nicest turkey of the day. So fingers crossed that this is actually going to score pretty high. I'm really hoping so. Man, I just can't get over the fact that they finally adjusted the coloration of the arrows. Instead of all being green, they actually have distinct colors now, which is so nice. It's really going to help with figuring out which arrow you have in your bow at the current moment. That's such a good quality of life change, and it really helps with the immersion too. But uh, let's get a quick picture of this turkey if we can. Get a couple of them. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and see what this guy ends up being. It is a gold 4.40. That is a good turkey, but it's not quite a diamond like I was hoping for. One of these days we'll end up getting a level 2 diamond turkey, but today doesn't seem like it's the day. Alright, so I decided to put down my second ground blind. Kind of where we started calling those turkeys in. I think this is going to be a good spot for it. We'll basically uh, hunt this area, then I'll probably set up something around, I don't know, in between these two. And then we will go to this one over here and call uh, these turkeys in. Now we got to find a turkey zone somewhere through here or a whitetail zone or something. And uh, set another blind up in that area. I want to make kind of like a route that I can take where I can just bounce from blind to blind to blind and get lots of action for uh, videos like this. I think that could be a lot of fun. Well, we just got another warning call from an eastern turkey around south, I'd say. 
and uh, we're gonna see if we can call it in. The wind isn't great, but it's not terrible either, so I think we should be okay to call it in. Oh, there we go. There it is. That is our turkey right there. I can't tell how big it is. Oh, there we go. Seven to nine. That is a pretty small turkey, but it's still uh, large enough for us to take it out. Now, uh, it's around 50 away. We'll probably wait till it gets a little bit closer and then try to get a shot on it. However, I think it's downwind of us now. Uh, that's not good. I didn't see. Is it fleeing? It might be fleeing. That, uh, that won't be good if it is. Well, it definitely knows we're here. That's for sure. Uh, the question is, can it smell us or what? Because if I remember right, turkeys don't have the ability to smell in real life, but for some reason in Call of the Wild, they can smell. So I'm thinking that uh, it probably winded us. Maybe if we're lucky, it didn't though. If we're careful and lucky, we might be able to stock up on it like this. It's a pretty risky move, but I think we can do it if we're careful enough. We just got to make sure we don't uh, screw things up here. There we go, we got it. That went better than I expected it to. But we uh, made a pretty decent shot there, if I do say so myself. Hopefully there wasn't any other turkeys because I jumped up immediately because I wanted to come get this thing. Yeah, that looked like it was a pretty solid hit on this beautiful gobbler. 4.20, 8.70 kgs. That is a, a nice looking turkey and a pretty well placed shot. Would have liked it a little bit more to the left, but I uh, will take it for what it was. Oh, there definitely was a second turkey. We got running tracks right there. That's unfortunate. Well, let's go find where the feed zone was and then we can kind of set up a blind based off of where this zone was. I'm going to assume it was somewhere around here. Yeah, we just found a feeding zone for the eastern turkey. Uh, I don't actually see the feeding zone uh, thing anywhere, but... It is what it is. We kind of know the general area now, so we can better set up for uh, these turkeys next time. Let's uh, go put a tent down and then put our blind about where that marker is, and then we can call them in from there. Oh, we got another turkey over here? Interesting. You know, that's actually uh, pretty sweet if we do. That'll be a couple really good turkey areas close by. Oh, there we go. I see it. I see the turkey. Uh, we can crouch right here and still be hidden. Turkey's right through here. There it is. I can see it moving just a little bit through this brush. We should be almost able to get a view of it soon. There it is right there. That thing is really, really close. I can't spot it yet, so I have no way of telling what this turkey is. But we definitely need to take it down. And it is just a small one. Let's uh, get this shot before it leaves. Beautiful. So we got a couple turkey zones in this area, it seems like. And another turkey that way. This is just like Turkey Central. I am liking this area quite a bit for turkey. They are just all over. There it is right there. Got our next uh, turkey coming into the call. I'm going to try and move a little bit so that I can uh, get a better view of it. It also seems like there's a bear behind us, but uh, we're not really too concerned about the bear. I'd uh, rather figure out what this turkey is first. Oh my gosh, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. Okay, so this is a turkey that we had previously spooked, it looks like. Interesting. Well... Suppose we'll just wait for it to move from behind this tree. Or even better, let's try to sneak around it and see if we can get a better angle. Because that is uh, going to be more entertaining than just waiting, I think. And we got it down. So that's a lot of turkey in this one area. And another one warning calling. We just can't get away from the turkey right now. This is amazing. And one of the nice things about this forest right here is there's a lot of spots where you're actually full hidden. Even when standing, like this little bush right here, it's giving us a full coverage, which is really nice. We're completely concealed while we're in this little spot right here. 
And there's a lot of spots throughout this forest that are like that if you have the uh, improvised blind perk. It is uh, probably one of the most useful ones. Actually, it's a skill, not a perk. Uh, this one right here, improvised blind. It's really nice. It makes it so you stay hidden when you're in bushes. And it's very, very helpful for situations like this. There it is. That's a good turkey right there, 9 to 11. I, I heard something to the north, though, too. I swear I heard something else. Oh, definitely, there's a bear. Okay, well, that's not exactly what we're here for, so... It's not really much of a loss, but... I, I knew there was something else. And there's our turkey. Well, this has gone really, really well. I am uh, pleasantly surprised at the amount of turkey that we have been taking out. And this is probably one of the better ones of the day. Well, it ends up being a gold 4.40. This is the brown plumage type. Not too bad. Not as big as the other 9 to 11 weight one that we found earlier, but it's still a good turkey. Not bad at all. Let's go claim the other two now that we've kind of uh, got all the turkey in the area. At least I think we did. That's uh, three toms plus the other one, so that would be four toms. Not too bad. That one's 4.30. 906. It's also a brown plumage type. And the last one is over here. This one, I believe, is the one that we had to take while it was nervous. Yeah, this definitely is. And 4.10, light bronze plumage type. You know, I really like the light bronze. I'm going to have to compare all the turkey types someday. Uh, or not all the turkey types, but all the different uh, plumage types for the eastern turkeys and just see what the differences are. I'm definitely noticing more brown throughout the light bronze than I did on the brown ones, so... That might be one of the main differences for them. Well, I think this is about as good of a placement for this ground blind as any. I actually put it uh, right near the outpost and uh, some of these trailers right here. I think this is a cool spot to have a ground blind and I could definitely see myself taking some turkeys from here. And uh, kind of like behind it is some pretty cool stuff too. It's one of these rock structures with, uh, well, not rock structures, these rock formations with the vines on them. And then right next to it is the uh, trailers, so I think that's pretty cool. Definitely a fan of this little layout right here. And then the zones are right over there where that marker is, so it'll be in perfect caller range as well. There we go, that's another mating call from an eastern wild turkey. We've been finding so many toms today. A lot more than I've been finding pretty much any other day that I've been hunting on this map. Of course, for once, we finally have the turkeys cooperating when I actually want to do a video on them. Now, this uh, does not happen often where we actually have something cooperate the way we want them to when I'm actually recording. However, that wind is not cooperating at all. That wind is in a terrible direction, so yeah, that's not good. Uh, honestly, I don't even know what to do here. Probably just going to have to try and avoid it. Oh, oh my gosh. Hello there. Well then. Okay, that was interesting. I didn't expect to be landed on by a turkey today, but um, I guess that's what happened. Where was that thing? It must have been much closer than I thought. We should uh, probably look to see if there's a zone around here. Ooh, there we go. We found another eastern turkey feed zone. And we actually have a gray fox next to it. That is a good looking turkey once again. Another 9 to 11 kg one. Hopefully this will end up scoring a little bit higher than the last two. So there's our turkey right there. It's about 100 meters away. Getting very, very close. We should be able to take a shot in a couple minutes probably. Actually, it's moving pretty quickly, so maybe even less than that. There we go. There it is. 56 meters away. This is our chance. Let's go for a long range shot. And we nailed it. We could barely even see that thing, and we managed to make the shot. That is uh, probably our best shot of the day. And uh, it was in a pretty cool area on a really nice gobbler, so hopefully this thing will score pretty high. I'm hoping that we'll maybe get that lucky level 2 diamond. But I uh, highly doubt it with the way things have been going today. But here it is. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this thing. That is a beautiful turkey and there's actually another one over there that's giving us a warning call so we got one more to take out after this but this guy is a gold 4.40 once again 
Man, we are getting a lot of 4.40s today. But uh, no diamonds and not even a 4.50. But a lot of really good turkeys nonetheless. This will be good respawns. Hopefully some of them will respawn as something bigger. I think to finish things off since we haven't shot nearly as many whitetail as I would like to in this video, let's just go back to the place where we hunted them at the beginning and uh, see if we can get a couple more of these whitetail deer. Let's uh, try to sneak up to the blind and just see what we can do. I'm really hoping that uh, after a while we'll be able to find some more really cool zones like this where we've got whitetail feeding in a field. I definitely like this quite a bit more than a hunting drink zone, so if we could find a bunch of these, that'd be really cool. It would make for a more immersive hunting experience, and that, I think, is pretty awesome. It's fun to do videos like this every once in a while, just because it is so much different from the normal drink zone hunting we do, and it's more realistic. It feels a lot more like how the game should be played, so I hope one of these days we get the option to... Play a different game mode in Call of the Wild where need zones aren't a thing because it'll make for some more cool encounters like this right here where we get to take deer out of fields. Definitely a cooler way to hunt them. That guy's at 68 meters. We'll let him get a little bit closer and then try to take him out, but this is just such a cool site. Such a cool place to take some white-tailed deer. Ah, uh, for some reason it doesn't want to come to the call. One of the does spooked off. And now they're just kind of like not doing anything at all like I'd want them to. It does look like it might be doubling back. It, it's so hard to tell. They're just acting strange. There's the buck we wanted. It's not even going to give us the time of day to come back. But yeah, these whitetail don't want to cooperate. So unfortunately, we're going to have to take out the rifle. And real quickly, just put one in that guy. It wasn't even a good shot, unfortunately. But we did manage to get a shot into the second one, which also was not good either. <laughs> well, not exactly the note I wanted to end things on, but we got a couple more whitetail bucks down at least, and we did manage to take them from that first blind we set up. Well, there is one of our whitetail bucks. This is the first one that we took down, and unfortunately we hit vertebrae. You know, that actually makes sense. I think we were probably zeroed wrong, so yeah, it's a little unfortunate, but... It did go down eventually. Not a great hit, though. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just hit that shot. I was just taking a random shot just to take a random shot, and we just absolutely dropped that doe. Oh my gosh, that poor thing. Vitals and everything. Stomach, liver, and left lung. Wow, that was uh, quite the running bow shot. <laughs> Better than I'll probably ever do on anything else. And uh, here is our other buck, left scapula. That's unfortunate, but I guess that's the uh, way we're going to have to end it. I appreciate everybody watching the video all the way to the end. This was quite a bit of fun. It's nice to get out and use the bows every once in a while and take on some turkey and whitetail and uh, whatever else we may come across. We'll probably do some more videos like this in, in the future. I definitely like taking out the turkeys this way. It's a little bit more fun than just shooting them with the 22s. And I definitely do prefer this style of turkey hunting and... I think with a map like this, it's a little bit more viable to use bows hunting the turkeys uh, just because of how brushy it is. It's much easier to call them in and at that point, why not use a bow? But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and uh, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another upload. Also, if you guys have not already, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of this video. It uh, helps out the channel quite a bit and it lets me know what you guys want to see. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!